All right, viewers, let's dip into the latest news break that we're getting in from Ukraine. Ukraine Zelensky has said Russian shelling on Kharkiv, a war crime defending capital Kiev. The key priority is what the Ukraine president has now elucidated. That's big news coming in in the wake of many civilian buildings being targeted where Kharkiv is concerned. Kharkiv viewers, as we speak, is facing the full brunt of the Russian army right now. It's a border city. The president has reacted. He said that what's happening in Kharkiv is a war crime with civilians being attacked. Uh, he also added now that defending capital Kiev is the key priority for Ukraine. As we speak and what we are getting to understand from our boots in terms of India Today's reporters on ground, uh, God of Savant, is that columns, and you can see those in satellite images as well, columns, kilometers of uh, columns of, in, of Russian army and artillery is moving towards Kiev as we speak to launch a massive military operation there. I want to cut across right now to Ukrainian MP, Ms. Kravachok is joining us. Appreciate you, ma'am, uh, for talk, speaking with us at this time of acute crisis. Our condolences lie with you, especially with what has gone down right now in Kharkiv, India, as well, suffered our first casualty with a young student of 21 year old of age uh, perishing, succumbing to uh, Russian fire. <laughs> Yes, I greet you and uh, people of India, uh, and we think that India can do more in preventing these horrible war crimes that are uh, going in Ukraine. And uh, probably can't see it in my screen, but you probably showed how the center of Kharkiv looks like right now. It was bombed. The biggest square of Europe, Freedom Square, was bombed with um, artillery and uh, rockets, and at least 10 people died. Um, uh, from it. And I th uh, uh, President Zelensky said it's not only a war crime, uh, it means that the whole country, the whole state of Russia is terrorism. It's uh, the, the state of a uh, terrorist state. That's how they should be called uh, in the world. And we think that there is no place for Russia anymore in United Nations because it's not normal in 21st century in the center of Europe, bombing civilians. The city of Kharkiv is Russian-speaking uh, city, which is 40 kilometers from, from the border of Russia. Uh, it's uh, n no one could, uh, you know, even imagine how far away Putin will go, but he goes. All right, we, see. we seem to have lost the connect uh, to Ms. Kravichok, we're going to try and re-establish it, but let me quickly, uh, while we do that, okay, we have her back. Uh, yes, ma'am, go ahead. Yes, I'm sorry we have some uh, problems with internet connection, but thanks to Elon Musk, we received uh, 1,000 of uh, um, a special uplink to, uh, to, to have internet, because I think that Russian will try to... All right, you know, uh, Ms. Kravchak, this sketchy, you're right, this sketchy signal, but we're gonna, we're gonna try and reestablish that link. Uh, I just wanna encapsulate with what you were also stating, news that's just coming in. Uh, Pre uh, President Zelensky has gone ahead and said that now the main focus is to guard the capital city of Kiev and what's taking place in Kharkiv is a war crime, clearly seeming to indicate on civilian buildings, civilians now being targeted where Russia is concerned. If we still have Ms. Kravchak, Okay, we have her back. Great. I'm here and see me. I can continue. Go ahead now. Yes. Uh, why why Putin and why Russia needs Kiev? Because uh, they want to overthrow the government, to overthrow the president, to put a puppet on the head of the government, but he will not succeed. Because this is not a war with uh, uh, with the army, it's the war with the whole nation. In every city which is targeted, we have people that are uh, going out, uh, making Molotov cocktails. I would say that the recipe of Molotov cocktail is the most um, popular right now in Ukraine. Uh, they throw it to uh, Russian army, they go bare hand um, uh, on the street and uh, turn the tanks away. So 
all the nations fighting. I will I will say just a, a one fact that would probably amaze you. Uh, the ballerina of Kiev National Opera took uh, a gun and joined defense forces in Ukraine. So uh, the city will be holding up. They will be uh, targeting, I think, that they, they will continue targeting also civilians. So that's why we um, uh, ask the world to uh, conduct a no-fly zone on Ukraine. Because when uh, um, there is bombing and shelling, civilians are right. dying every day. We, right. ha we have almost 20 children that died because of Putin and because of this Russian aggression against Ukraine. Well, madam, we can see that that has become a people's war for your country. We can see the citizens joining in this war. We can actually see the brunt of civilian damage. We ourselves today have lost a 21-year-old young man who was studying in your country. Uh, uh, he's fallen collateral uh, to uh, firing by Russian forces. I want to ask you, ma'am, at this point of time, where is the ideology in terms of your demands, Ukraine's demand of abject ceasefire before anything? Are you still sticking on it? Are you still on your stand of uh, continuing wanting to join NATO? Or have, is there a rethink on that intent? Because that is a non-negotiable for Russia. It's not It's not about NATO, you see, it's not about neutral status. Uh, you need to understand that in 2014, when, when uh, Crimea was annexed and when the war in Donbass uh, started, we were a neutral country. It was stated in our constitution and Russia did it. So neutrality has nothing to do with it. Uh, yesterday, President Zelensky uh, has sent official documents, official application to join European Union. And uh, we expect today that the Euro Parliament will have a discussion and uh, we will get uh, a, a special short procedure uh, to, uh, to, be, uh, to become a, a member of a uh, European Union. Now about um, defense, because we need some guarantees, some guarantees, not assurances, but some guarantees on, uh, on our uh, country. Who will give these uh, guarantees that uh, in uh, uh, six months, Russia will not go crazy again and uh, uh, will okay. uh, come to our country again. So we will, um, right now right. we are receiving a lot of aid, a lot of military aid from all the countries, all the countries of NATO and also from okay. uh, European Union. All right, uh, Madam, you want to Madam I, I, you know, we, uh, I appreciate uh, you for joining us. Thank you. We do wish you strength and fortitude. Uh, we do understand that uh, uh, Kharkiv right now facing the full brunt of the Russian forces. Kiev columns, kilometer long columns of Russian army and artillery moving towards Kiev. Uh, we expecting that in the next few hours a massive military operation would be lodged there.